hello this is frame uh, welcome to my youtube channel today um, i'm going to solve random uh, lead code problem so let's find some easy one this filter to easy so then we'll pick something from array okay let's see uh, what we can do okay let's pick this one so first of all we're gonna discuss about the problem statement so here it says you have a long flower bed in which some of the plot are planted and some are not however flower cannot be planted in adjacent plots so given an integer array flower bed containing zeros and ones where zero means empty and one means not empty and integer n if the n new flower can be planted in the flower bed without violating the no adjacent no adjacent flower rules so basically um, this is the flower bed that's all it's saying and now uh, flower cannot be planted in adjacent plot that means you can't plant nearby plots so if you see if a plant has been already planted here then you can't plot you can use this plot you have to pick this one so here is it is saying however the flower cannot be planted in adjacent plot that means you cannot plant anything uh, nearby or side by side so you need to pick a gap so we need to uh, give one of the side um, as empty plot then we can plant it here so if we follow this rule then what we can do okay let's draw something like uh, we have a flower here and here is a plot this should be empty okay so, and we can plot a flower here so for flower we can write if and this is empty and we can again plot it here sorry again this is empty this is how we need to manage the flower bed and here we can see uh, here already flower has been plotted then there is empty no flower no flower no flower then another flower has been plotted here and this is the board already uh, you we have the flower bed and now in n we see we have one flower to plot here so we can see we can only see uh, one flower here that means this will be true as um, the nearby plot is empty so we can plant this uh, flower here similarly if we go to the example 2 we can see um, a flower has been plotted here then there is empty zero means empty and one means not empty that means um, zero is empty zero is empty then not empty that means already flower has been placed so there is uh, two there are two flower in our hand now we need to place them so here we can see we can place only one flower in the center uh, then nearby plot is empty that's the things uh, it wanted but we have another flower we, which cannot cannot be planted here so the output will be fa false so let's uh, try that out first of all um, I will copy this then go to VS code save it let's 
write a console for it. I'm going to add a message, then comma, then call the function. Let's pick this array. Place here. Then pick the n value one. Okay, sorry. Let's run this. So it is showing undefined as we are not returning anything. Now, what we'll do? We will uh, read as we will return true and false. So let keep a variable valid false now we are gonna uh, use a for loop to iterate over the array let pick i 0 then i flower match dot length and i plus plus so we're gonna iterate them. So the condition is um, there should be empty space, right? We can only place flower where there is empty, right? So we'll check our array where there is empty, right? So this must be empty first condition then uh, if uh, it, let's say this uh, we're targeting this for example uh, if the array uh, after iterating the array if we found that there is a zero and we want this zero not this zero so we need to check uh, the nearby value is also zero right otherwise it will not pick the center it will pick this one so if we target this then we have to make sure uh, the forward and backward uh, array uh, elements are also zero. So let me do that. Then let's copy it. We're checking nearby ones also zero if that happen uh, what we want to do is uh, we're going to decrease the flower in our hand as we will plant it there so we are decreasing it okay so next we'll check whether all of the flower has been planted perfectly so let's do it okay then make it if uh, all has been planted then we will have nothing in our hand then n will be zero then it will be true okay uh, it has been successfully done then we return the valid variable so let's check it whether it work or not it's giving true is it true okay it's true um is the value same yes yeah, same let's use n is equal to 2 let's see what happened it works or not save false it was false okay so then uh, let's paste this in the lead code run the test case oh it worked let's submit this wrong answer so what's wrong about this let's check it so you can see uh, we can place one over here Mm, expected false right so we have two 
so we can place only one here okay so okay uh, I'm as we have uh, placed the flower right we want to place our flower so we are choosing the empty space and then we will place it so let's place the flower here I guess it will be blocked by one let's do it again okay let's check this one uh, I don't know uh, I should I guess this is how I should do okay, why I'm copying to <laughs> solid there false right so what was the expectation false okay let's see it work or not so what a change here yes let's copy this line only mm. so let's run the test case again I hope it works now or we need to fix it again it's wrong answer so what's happening here is we can only place one flower here right and expected is true let's see in this condition what I can see oh as we're checking the previous one has to be zero maybe that thing is creating problem mm, let's take a break then we'll continue but before that uh, let us guess whether we need something else um, so for that uh, I can't check the previous element I need to make sure okay so let's do this let's change it huh like what if we do it like this mm. it's been a long time I'm doing this video let's see up C okay I missed a bracket let's clear this up false so let's use one oh we need to change the value no issue it's been false so what goes wrong okay I forgot to change the condition let's see what happened now if you paste this if this don't work we'll take a 10 minute break then we'll start again no worries or if it works good or we can continue without break so let's see let's run the test case first is it breaking or not okay it's breaking now expect this is true so when you're doing problem solving um, there will be several cases that can break 
so don't worry about it you will struggle but the thing is that um, this is the way to do it it's not a magic trick that boom it will work all on a sudden so there are the issues so it is showing false but it should show true so what's happening here uh, it is not going through this condition or this is not uh, decreasing so we need to decrease this so as it has one so um, let me check if it iterate what happened let's say it's one it will not pick it this is zero it will try to add it it will not check okay maybe we need to add more condition here n is not zero i guess let me check what is the value of n maybe it goes to minus oopsie i knew it it goes to minus one okay so the reason is uh, we are trying to place in zero and we are checking also the next one is also zero but the thing is that there is a one but we can't pick the one uh, this is not allowed it cannot set here so um, it is decreasing from this value it is also decreasing from this value also decreasing from this value right so it is not knowing what is going on so we don't want this kind of thing so first it is one decrease to zero then it minus one so it's two right okay so let's check if the next element is zero Hmm. Let's think how to solve this. Zero, one, zero. So we're going to place it. So we're checking the next element is also zero or not. Um, but at the same time, there is one in the left. So we can't place it if the one is there. So I can do one thing. Um, if Let us check whether the previous value is 1 or yeah this is 1 then return it right um, let's see what our board says so here the first element can be empty right so we cannot uh, give a condition where uh, there should be an element that will be called um, 0 or 1 as it has nothing right or whether the first element can be 1 so this is how we need to deal it so what, what we can do for it so let's add this Let's get a uh, listing that mm. okay. Uh, should we consider for the la uh, first element only? Should we or not? So let's just uh, remove this and add it. So this, this is the way we were doing things. 
and it was working fine right true so what if the first element is zero right let's add r do the same thing just for the first element i is 0 ok should it work let's see Okay, we should paste it. Accept it. Let's hit it again. The wrong answer. Oh, that it is one. Okay. Remove this one. Actually, that was nothing. Standard out uh, was nothing. Expectation is true, but it is showing false. Let's add a debugger. Start to debugger, not just okay. So let's check what is happening here. If we add this, now where it's stuck? Oh, for this one. Okay, we need to start the debugger again. Then, so one, one, okay, stop it, save it, then run the debugger again. Let's check what's going on. So we have a flower array, length is 5, the value of i is nothing now. Let's step over, let's see. The value of i is now 0. So let's check. It is not coming here, it's not passing the condition. So zero, the first element was zero. Now check the array. Now, okay. It is not going to the blocks. Okay. So the things is that uh, it was not uh, entering to the condition what we added so the first one is zero we are checking whether the flower is zero then the next one oopsie oopsie I forgot to do one thing let's check now true the valid answer is true okay then let's paste this check whether it works or not run accept it submit still wrong answer Let's copy the fellow. 
there is another case which stuck us false but the expectation was true let's check why the expectation was true so we have two flowers so we can plant it here we can also plant it here this is the thing there is another condition we'll need for this so let's put it here let's do a formatting so we'll write another condition similar as this and I don't know if I'm missing anything or not this thing expect why we need this okay now this looks good uh, the things I didn't have to do is check the length whether it reached the last so it should be minus one as it will be the last element then I will check the previous one is zero now check it true and the expectation true let's paste this here and run it mm, there's an issue okay we missed a bracket here let's paste it properly then run then hit the submit still is wrong now it uh, create an issue for only zero so there's a lot of cases uh, that can be now as the only value is zero then what we can do else if if it doesn't work then we'll check whether the length of it is one right so equal to one then and if the element is zero then we'll do the so we can also add this condition over here we don't need another else if so let's also do this thing here a lot of condition as we have a lot of cases so let's delete this line format the code mm. do i miss something okay let's format it again let's check what it say now let's make everything skip the one single element run it true so let's again try this thing run Then hit submit. Again wrong answer. So now what happened? We have one element, right? So expect it true. So here you can see uh, we have one condition um, that is creating issue. Suppose we have one flower, we can plant this, right? So we ha do have spaces so in equals zero should not be the uh, valid uh, condition 
so n should be zero that's the main thing so what we can do here um, as we have several things that means n can be minus right if n is minus then we can as it, it is decreasing so n can be minus right so we can say it is equal or less than zero okay true again just change copy this condition only paste it here then run hit the submit finally it is accepted okay so this is how it goes you need to try several time you already seen i have been trying this thing for a long time now finally it has been accepted accepted thanks for watching this video